Collision Theory on Bond Formation and Reaction Rates The collision theory explains why chemical reactions occur and the rate at which they occur. The reaction time of a chemical reaction is how fast the chemical reaction occurs. When we talk about collisions, we refer to particles crashing into one another to break bonds. Bonds form between atoms that are held together by opposite charges. How does this affect a chemical reaction? The theory states that some collisions are effective and some are ineffective. Just because particles in a reaction collide does not necessarily mean that they will react. Particles must collide with sufficient kinetic energy to form a successful product. In order to break existing bonds to create new bonds for the product, the reaction must have enough activation energy. Activation energy is the required energy needed for a reaction to occur. For example, in order for a large rock to roll down a hill, the person must first put in enough energy to get the rock over the bump. A chain reaction occurs once the product begins to form. If the concentration and or the temperature is great enough, it will increase the speed of the particles, which is directly related to the increase in collisions. This results in a faster reaction rate by decreasing the activation energy. Finally, let's take a look at two types of bonding, covalent and ionic. Covalent bonds occur when electrons are being shared. For example, the two fluorine atoms each share one electron to form a covalent bond. Rather than sharing, ionic bonds transfer electrons, either by giving one or taking one. Sodium chloride, NaCl, is a common example. We're all familiar with table salt. The sodium atom gives an electron to the chlorine atom, causing an ionic bond to occur, with salt as the product.